Hello, and welcome back to another evening in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena, is it April Fools? Am I kidding? Or is, are you looking at the next big thing, the evolution of Mono Red, a collection of kind of mid-range, big red kind of cards that do work, um, and I, d d does it win? That's the thing, though. I mean, everybody's trying to make a mono red deck that wins, but with runes out there, with is it out there, with mono white out there, how can you possibly beat it? Well, what I say is that there's actually a lot of power in the mid range to late game of mono red, and all it needs is a little bit of card advantage. But there's some things that have entered the fray. When you look at this deck, how much card advantage is there really? Well, we've got Bloodthirsty Adversary. That can be card advantage. We've got Reckoner Bankbuster. That's card advantage. We've got Fable of the Mirror Breaker. That discarding two cards and drawing two cards when you're getting rid of, say, removal spells that aren't good in the matchup that you're in, that is card advantage. And even if that draw two, discard two doesn't work, you still get a 2-2 two -two Red Goblin Shaman on the front and a reflection of Kiki Jiki on the back. And then Chandra, Dressed to Kill, that can get your card advantage with the plus one to exile the top card of your library. We have a lot of red cards in our deck. It's Sushi the Blazing Sky is two and a red red 4-4 four, four flying. Trample when it dies, you can exile the top two cards of your library until end of turn. You may play those cards. Card advantage until end of your next turn. I should be really clear about that. It also can make three treasure tokens. You know what's good with treasures? Goldspan Dragon. <laughs> you know what's good in standard? Goldspan Dragon. So we can run Dragon's Fire because we have eight dragons to pair it with to deal four damage at instant speed, which is above rate for two mana. And we also have two copies of a Braid just, and four copies of Frostbite just to make sure things die. And we run all the red lands so that we can not only hit them with Chandra's plus one, but also all the removal you could possibly need whenever you need it. Am I kidding? Is it just April Fools? Is this just another trash red pile? Or are we, in fact, looking at the future of Standard? You gotta watch the games and remember to stay till the end where I will reveal April Fools or more than that. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. Percentage gamer. That's what I get for trying to brew with red decks. But here we go. This will fix it. This will totally reclaim our rightful place. Maybe I'm supposed to lead on smashing there since I'm so far from, away from using it. Oh god, is it? That's like the worst possible matchup we could pull. Fun. Trying to enjoy myself here. Adversary. More dragons. I'm sure my dragons will get countered, but we should try. Oh, we drew a dragon fire. That can fight their dragon. That's important. I guess we have to be ready for them to go for a gold span and pay a Jwari disruption. a treasure. What do you think of that? How do you like them apples? Cool. It might kill this. Maybe I'm okay with that. I'm sure they really don't want me to have a gold span though. So we should go for it. Windfall negate. Nice. Please pitch that negate. Probably means they have another, though, to be honest. Let's go, four fours. Hit hard. Maybe we have a shot. We'll see. They 
fall to 12. Do I go for a Chandra? If I do, I won't have the mana left over to play a Dragon's Fire and pay for it, right? And yeah, Chandra can wait. Well, they gotta do something. A Kraken, though, is particularly terrifying. They're gonna burn down the house. I think I want to make another treasure. Because I'm not sure what my frostbites are doing otherwise. Right now they're doing nothing. Not the way. A little weird, but it could come back. What else you got? Just, when am I going to play somebody who actually gives me targets when I have a million removal spells in my deck? Oh, that resolved way too easy. There are 12. Like a man is short of playing Chandra and also activating this. Okay, they seem to have something now, which is unfortunate. But if they had tried to kill it in response to like attacking with it, now I get a 1 1, but they could have just powered up uh, the bank buster. Chandra, knock him to six. Bankbuster card goes unclaimed. They have so much to deal with, but they might have another burn down the house or they might have, um, no, they probably don't have Calamity to get it back. And this we can't play as a land. We already played our land. All right, I'm gonna pass, pass and draw. Also, we can pay for Jouari on a Dragon's Fire. There's the Jouari. Crush the weak. Okay. What else you got? Next treasure. All right. Definitely need to draw here. We're very close to making a pilot to crew the other bank buster. They have removal for days, but they are struggling a little bit here. They're at seven. We can hit him for another four, another land. It's pretty unfortunate. Dragon is gone though, so now we can't use Dragon's Fire. And we lost our den of the bugbear. So let's make a pilot. Adversary again? I mean, do we even... We don't really even need to get something back for sure. We could go for lethal. There is stick. Let's hope it's just his Wari here. No, there's more stick. It's not gonna work. But I guess let's diversify threats. I'm trying to get there. Maybe not playing the den this turn is going to come back to bite me. We'll see. All right, it's on the field now. You don't have to flash anything back. We just make a 3-3. Three, three. They they'll either kill this or kill Bankbuster. Either way, they t we need to do a lot of damage.
<laughs> okay. <laughs> We're trying. What what instant speed nonsense you got this time? They never lack, do they? Fading hope on the bank buster. Nice. To the bottom. You go to two. Now, will you just die already? Man, Goldspan Dragon's so good, even is it gamers struggle with it. Okay, you have a dragon there. You have a treasure. What are you gonna do? Hallbreaker Horror in the bin. I, I was getting scared they were going to play that. Field of Ruin. Dead. Good. Good, good, good. Superior Goldspan deck located. I mean, hopefully they're playing creatures and we kill them, kill them, fable, kill whatever they play. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, you silly bat. Okay, they're playing creatures. This is probably going to come down to how many showdowns they draw. They drew one already. Great. Guess we lose. Chandra. We ramp. I think we play Fable. It's kind of tough between the two. I'm not sure at this stage which one I would rather play first, but both ramp. This one does a little more damage. What a gamer. Hopefully they have no red source here. All right, what are we discarding? You can go, you can go, I think. Play Chandra and a braid with this curve. Oh, nice. That's a lot of good toys. Without the sun, I'll light your way. Aw, you're looking a little singed. With the treasure, we'll still have Frostbite open if they play another naturalist. And then we just have to find a dragon for the reflection. Okay, let's see what they get. I have instant speed removal to keep them from going off too hard. Almost all lands, nice. That's a draw. That is a hell of a draw. Watch me heat up the dance floor. Let's go, baby. So much mana. Next turn, we make dragon copies. I guess you can see the potential. Touch the spirit realm. Can't do anything about that, though. If that's all they play... Hmm. Let's see what we can exile. Dragon? Adversary. We should all follow our hearts. Really close to killing him. Boink. I think we take the damage here as much as I would love to make a reflection. So close to lethal. Uh huh. Trigger on the stack before they get to use uh, the cost reduction. We kill it. Buy runes. Now that's how you're supposed to do it. Wally B, please go first. Please have good hand. Nope. Neither is true. 
<laughs> Strictly neither. And one lander. I mean, I'm just going to hope to draw some land. If I draw two out of three, then we're in it. And we're a 27 land deck. Easy. Not a Thalia. Good. Let's, I guess, start attacking. They've got something. If they don't use it, it's touch the spirit realm. The realm it is. Runeforge champion. Nope, brutal Cathar. Okay. Not runes. That's nice to see, though. But Halana and Elena are going to be a problem. Adversary versus the world. Oh, nice. Just gonna do this now. Beautiful. Give me a near chance. I won't stop fighting to the so their hand was slow and they missed a land. So why did they keep it? And it's a tapped land. Ouch. They must have some really good four drops, right? You have to be really careful with this dragon fire. That thing has ward. Weird card. Hmm. Oh, I think I'm supposed to put this out. You can attack first, though. See if our opponent does any shenanigans. Half dead. Let's bring things up to a simmer. I'm paying three life. I want my frostbite available. I think I might need it. Like sequencing these for these next few turns and getting damage is what really matters. Do you think they have snakeskin veil? I think they might. Bush Viper. Yep. Okay. Hey, listen, jerk. Move it. Should we exile our top card and see if it's a good one? While they're tapped out? Or should we just dragon fire this and deal a damage and be happy? Greed. There's a lot of removal in this deck. If I lose by one life, it might be that. <laughs> cool. All right, treasures? Or cards, cards. Beautiful. A <laughs> gold span dragon and a dragon's fire. Playing. Give a toast? <laughs> I'd love to. Beautiful. One less valley in the world. Drop it a one. If I plus this Chandra, you die. We have kept the Naya Human deck on its heels. If they kept a hand with like two or three Brutal Cathars. And it did no good against Frostbite and company. We kept a one lander. That was awesome. Rat King. Fun. Well, we go first and we have kill spells for days. So Rat Kings play creatures, right? I mean, rats are in and of themselves little critters. So I think that makes this a keep. Right.
Red, white, lizard blades. Okay. Well, they're feeling good. We'll put a stop to that quickly. And here comes the Kimono. Kill it? Do we want to do it the mana efficient way or no? I think we better be we better be careful. Oh, they've got something? Well, it's not a Valorous stance. Or they had something they'd rather protect. Alright. <laughs> Let the stare down continue. I missed my third land drop last game. I'm gonna miss my fourth land drop this game. 27 land decks, guys. In the way of the future. Fortunately, I have just the means to kill everything at all times. Samurai? You're not memeing on me today, Rat King. I'm not, I'm not taking no samurai trap. No crap from no samurais. See if they're prepared to exile uh, anything. If they say go, they have Wandering Emperor and I'm not falling for it. We'll just sit back. We'll just sit back and draw cards. Okay. I mean, they could be bluffing me, but it's not like we're really losing. Impulse? It's gonna be weird if they can't hold up mana here. It means they're gonna take some damage. <laughs> that is not exactly what they wanted to see. I mean, they might burn my face. Yep. Alright, we're at 12. We have to be a little careful, but they're not going to hit us with any creatures. They're going to have to do it all with burn. So is this a Wandering Emperor or not? I guess we'll find out someday. Hmm. Alright, what are you getting? Inspiration, probably. Yep. See where you point it. Face. I mean, I still... Like, our read on this card is that it's the Wandering Emperor, but maybe they would have played the Emperor here and exiled this. So, pretty sus. I mean, yeah, they're trying to go the distance. Hmm, and it's holding priority, so it's not the Wandering Emperor. What is it? Could be another play with fire. I guess we need to leave mana up for any kind of shenanigans. Study break. Well, there's something you don't see every day. I think we deal them four here. We could draw a card, make a treasure and such, but I know I'm going to have to use a dragon fire, so I think that's unlikely. Man, they really are using... They, they think lessons are going to go the distance, huh? Alright, they didn't have a Wandering Emperor. Just a pretty good bluff. This is, this is their version of going for the throat, but it's not going to work out the way they want it to, that's for sure. Should be a pretty big tell that I attack with my bank buster, that I have something else to do with my mana. Spin the wheel. Ok, 
Can I get two damage to face? I don't see it. I don't see it. All right, we'll do it like this. Treasures, lots of mana, feels good. Shouldn't be a problem. And they scoop it up. Plus we had a flying blocker in case they had gold span or something like that. Top 1000 with red. What have I become? Ooh, somebody like 500-ish, almost 500 ranks ahead of us. It's a showdown. Removal, removal, stall, stall, dragon, dragon. Easy, easy game. Hmm. Getting more and more likely we play this hazard. Esper. Not the matchup you want to see. Right into the hands of Jawari. Or any other exile effect. I think not. Mm hmm. I could sneak right by, but I'm itching to fight. Kill it. Uh, I got someone on the inside. Dragon time. That requires attention. Attention was paid. Again. And more. I'll probably exile that. Yeah. No surprise there. It is Esper. They exile everything. Again, they don't have Vanishing Verse mana right now. But I'm not walking into a Jwari. No, they would have played a Jwari if they had it. We can go for this. den. Ton of pressure. They blinked and we jumped all over it. March. Hmm. If I could kill it in response, I would, but I can only deal three, not four. Mala Braid, our time together has come to an end. Bankbuster, nice. Power up. Attack. Bustin makes me feel good. In fact, I'll pay some life. And we'll draw. Using all the mana we can find. And even if they sweep the board, the Crucible and the Den can get them. Still winning. What is going on? Can the streak continue? The hand looks good enough. I wonder if I'm supposed to play Den or not. I'm trying to think. Is there something I'm going to need to hit for three with the Frostbite? There might well be. No way. Beautiful. But we're gonna need a lot more removal than we have. 
That's not bad. Do I play the bank buster? Bank buster's pretty bad here. I think we just abraid something. On the draw against Boros. Probably the worst time to have a bank buster. Good choice. Field of Ruin. It will have a moment. Charger? Strong. Very strong. But they don't have the land. Can they kill it? Charger again. All right, you get this bank buster. I've got another one nearby. Good draw. Let's get this on the field. We might draw the saga, the fable of the mirror breaker and want to discard this. And we chill. They still have a lot of active cards in hand. <laughs> oh, so they can't get through for one turn and they are out of there. 629. If there's another nice number, it should be this one. Neji. Yakugan. If only I were playing Hinata. Sus. Very sus. I'm going to try it. Be a fast deck. Hmm. We play Bank Buster because we might need to try to draw land next turn. We have no removal, which is really weird for this deck. Some blah blah blah. Okay. We got our third land. Interesting. So we can play Chandra, but it will be under siege right away. But it does get us to four mana. Bring things up to us. God, what I give for one of these to be a frostbite in that spot. You're really cramping my style. Right? Wow. Well, just their deck building looked the brilliant just now, didn't it? The straw land. Thank you. I was wondering if that could work. Double busta. opponent's going to set up for a minute before they play some big planeswalkers like Lulf that make our life miserable, so we really need to hit this next land drop and get ahead of them with a dragon. Thank you. Alright, we still need a spell for this adversary. I can't remember going this long without drawing removal before. Death is an so Ouch. It's the least you deserve. They're holding back to defend Kaya because I have a den. Over the top. Chandra could have also gotten the job done, but the mana and just the push from this dragon, I think, is the best. Here come the planeswalkers. How many do they have? Verse. Cards, baby cards. Removal? <laughs> I 
the <laughs> time to read some bank busters. Oh, okay. They're gonna remove a bank buster? We already got a ton of cards out of these. <laughs> Removal, we can cast it now. I don't think these are worth it. But it goes good with that sushi if they try to exile at sushi. We can kill it in response and get value. Let's see what they do here. Take it. Fable's a good play too, but I think it's at sushi. Maybe they don't have exile right now. Maybe, just maybe. Professor? They didn't leave up mana for fumes if they're going for fumes. Nope, they go for confront the past. They are full planeswalker spam. Sure. The classic nothing better to do. I'll just field ruin right now. Doggo. I think we just chill. I want to keep attacking them. We're finally hitting the removal. We've got plenty of it. Yeah, I had a feeling they'd do something like that. I think it's you. This is probably where they try to get back Kaya. Yep. See what they do with her. I won't stand by as innocent people are slaughtered. <laughs> I want that. I want my death benefit, sorry. I want my value. Sorry, not sorry, to be clear. Dragon. I like my hand. It's a mid-zero. I like my hand a lot. See how they block here. Completely ignore the Kai. We can just reach out and kill it with Frostbite. Yeah, they do go for double blocks. Actually, Kai doesn't do anything without a creature. So we can just save this for the creature that they want to uh, use with Kai. By now. Aww, if they have a, a farewell, we're going to want Chandra on the field. Blood on the snow. <laughs> Good dog. Good boy. We'll see if that comes back to bite me. I don't think so, though. I think with the adversary, we're in good shape. Watch me heat up the dance floor.
We go for lethal? Lethal we have. 500. From the percentages. Unbelievable. Alright, on the draw. Hard way it is. Blue mana. Den. Uh oh. Uh oh. On the draw, this is hard. All right, don't play two artifacts, please. Just one. Tank Busta. Good. Now, if they have a way to protect it, I'm in deep trouble. A braid. Okay. Well, is what it is. I think I just try now. If they have spell pierce, it's gonna feel bad, but I have to try. Cool. Card is scary. Not again. Okay, cool. Just bank busting. No big deal. And a missed land drop. That's sushi. Bank bust it. Fading hope? Maybe. Makes my three life look stupid. But you do take four. <laughs> look at that little floaty movement by the bank buster. I am more. It's a lot of loyalty. Power. And they get a free bank buster activation. And we don't have the land for the dragon. We really needed it there. Well, what can you say? What can you do? You'll soon bow instead. Can they deal with that sushi, though? Looks like mono blue artifacts. No idea what it could mean, but they definitely have counter spells. And they, if they have counter spells, they've probably drawn them. Murica. Land of artifacts and freedom. What? Well, that's got to be abraded. That's too many Chandras. That's too many Chandras. Oh, they have mana. Just one, though. Dude, Forsaken Monument and Standard, I'm kind of in love. This is why I braids in the deck, I guess. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said it was my plan. But there we here we are. And is oops all Chandra's. Oh, I kind of want to build this now. Wow. That works. I'm going to need more braids. This crew's here, this crew's that, patchwork. Yeah, we have to figure out a way to deal lethal damage. Hmm. Interesting. That's brave, right? I mean, I guess it's close to a race. We're only, at, we're at 11. Hmm. So it's like, we could power up Den and attack with it. And put the opponent close to dead. They can untap. If they hit us with this and this, we're not dead. Man. And then we just have a lethal aerial threat and we have to hope it gets there. 
That doesn't seem very likely. It seems like if I spend my turn that way, I'm in deep trouble. But yeah, this Chandra is not looking good. All right, let's attack. I think I say we pl attack with that sushi. Play at sushi. Keep this one. Death trigger. Let's make the treasures. Let's play some more stuff. We need more stuff on the board, man. I won't stop fighting till the people are safe again. Aw, you're looking a little singed. This is tough too. If I use it now, I can't use it to block if they remove it sushi. And I might need it too. But if I, they do that, they just power up the mech and I can't block it, right? So screw that. We need the right cards. We need removal. We need more hasty damage. Another gold span. Okay. I still think they're going to counter something at the perfect opportune time. Chandra? Awesome. Absolutely Come awesome. On, so they must have something to bounce this, that. right? They must. But maybe they can't bounce and counter? I don't know. We saw Fading Hope, and I think Fading Hope in this deck works, because it's got a very aggressive slant to it. Not to mention your mono blue. You don't have a lot of choices. Okay, we're crewing. That it? I think I'm supposed to be trading. I think I have to trade where I can here. I know they're close to dead, but you can't you can't assume they have nothing. And we need mana to do the things we need to do. I think this will get countered. Does that mean we should try Chandra first? They really went out of their way to kill her last time. They can't crew these right now. If I just power this up, they're going to field it. If they field it, then we have enough mana to play a dragon. Hmm. Counter. Not countered. Oh my. Oh my. They're gonna blow it up with field, but we can tap it for mana. And if it gets activated, it can crew the bank buster. They're going to let me attack? If they let me attack, then I attack, right? Because I get a 1-1? One, one? No, it just goes away. Alright, we do this. Because we know they have field. Ooh, nasty. Okay. They take it. Can they deal me 11? They're so close to death. I see how they could definitely deal me 10 if they can crew both mechs, but 11? This has been an this has been a great final boss. I want to try their deck. Another bank buster. A draw. Ooh, they tapped all their blue. Oh, that gains life. Okay, they're at five. But we have Chandra plus Goldspan. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on, baby.
That was an that was an excellent game. I want to try that deck. Oh, so close to a nice number. Would have been the cherry on top of what's been an incredible evening playing mono red. And we are back for the post game wraps. Let's check the stats. Powered by Untapped.gg companion app. Hit the download link in the description to support the channel and try it for free. Am I kidding? April Fools or the real freaking deal. Did he record for four hours and just only post his wins? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. Hello, Chrome. Man, I hate the new Windows updates so much. <laughs> CGB versus Windows update. It's not popping up. I can't get it to pop up. It literally won't open. Ah! did it all right it just you know i needed some time to finish the photoshop 100 percent win rate eight no 50 minutes of pure mono red glory started out at rank 100 percent out of the top 1000 uh and it got all the way up to 418 dude <laughs> along the way we didn't play mono white but we played close to mono white like the the boros deck is really close to mono white but we did face uh, runes, enchantments. We faced Esper. We faced Izzet. We faced Black White. Pretty good stretch of the meta. Is it the next big thing? Well, now it's in your hands. I went undefeated. I went up the ladder. I brought the heat. Your turn. I wasn't April Foolin'. I would never do that to you. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. You're cool. I can't make this up. Nice.